Good morning friends. Today we will be discussing about tennis elbow. Now tennis elbow is a very very common elbow problem which we see in our practice. Tennis elbow is basically pain on the outside of the elbow. So like if on uh, on her if you want to see this is the lateral epicondyle of the elbow and usually we have extensor muscles which are going like this and these muscles do the function of extension of the wrist and radial deviation of the wrist. So this movement and this movement is by these muscles and what we have seen is that we have pain due to problem in this area of the tendons. Now this is called predominantly the origin of the extensor carpi radialis brevis that is the ECRB tendon. So the patient will have pain particularly in this area of the elbow on the lateral, el lateral elbow around the lateral condyle and in the direction of the fibers of the extensor muscles of the wrist. These extensor muscles have predominant action of extending the wrist and rarely deviating the wrist and occasionally the action is on the fingers as well. So what are the symptoms? The patient will have pain specifically in the elbow, outside of the elbow he might have disturbed sleep and he might have inability to extend the elbow fully. So what that means is that he will not be able to extend the elbow completely like this. There will be about 5 degrees of less movement in the elbow. Occasionally the patient is very painful when he gets up in the morning and occasionally uh, they will be very painful while doing activities. Now what kind of activity is painful? The pain is in the elbow but usually what we have seen is that the elbow movements are free and the patient will not have problems in the activity of the elbow. The patients will have more problem in the activity of the wrist. So supposedly if we do activities like driving in which we move like this the pain will be more. Similarly if you do some activity in which you want to squeeze the pain will be more. So any activity of the wrist joint particularly this activity and this activity will lead to increase of symptoms and the elbow activity or the elbow range of motion will be relatively pain free. So now if you if a, uh, if a patient or if you have an acute episode of a tennis elbow what you need to do? The first thing that you can do is a local ice application. So you can just apply ice over this area locally and that will give you pain. So for an acute condition you can give a ice application or a ice fermentation. You can apply ice packs or you can use ice in a polythene and you can uh, apply things like that. And then you have to give rest to the wrist. So you don't have to do any heavy activity with the wrist joint. Then you can wear a brace which is called as a tennis elbow support. So it is a small brace and it is usually worn in this area. So the belt is worn in this area and whenever the belt is worn the elbow movement should be free. So the belt should not be the tennis elbow support should not be crossing the elbow and usually this tennis elbow support has a silicone foam or a regular foam and that foam should be exactly on the muscles which are painful. So the foam should lie on this area. So this is very important. This is the area where the foam should lie. The foam should be at the area of muscles. So whenever you do any wrist activity, the foam will take some of the weight of it. So occasionally, these tennis elbow supports are helpful. So this is we are talking about the acute condition. Chronic condition, long-standing tennis elbow can be improved with some sort of stretching exercises that we will discuss in the end. Now, if you are not relieving with these problems, this specific, these activities, change of your habits, eyes, rest and this tennis elbow support, then what are the other options? You can be prescribed some medications, some painkillers, anti-inflammatory and some tendon supplements. So you can consult a doctor who will prescribe you a painkiller, maybe a tendon supplement uh, which includes tendon uh, tonics and then they can give you some anti-inflammatory drugs. Supposedly you are not better with them also then you can consider a steroid injection into this particular area. 
but in my particular practice i am not very fond of steroid injections because they can cause harm in the long run and they can cause skin discoloration also in this particular area and tendon degeneration also so in my practice i usually don't recommend steroid injections as a routine and if uh, they have to be given also they should not be given at a very very high repetition so if you have to given you have to give it don't take more than one or two steroid injections if the pain is still not in control then there is no need to panic because now we have very good surgical measures which are available so if you are very very painful condition you are not able to do uh, any activity and you are in nagging pain and it is not responded to all that that i have shown so far don't worry at all there is no need to panic we can solve the problem out with a small procedure which is called as a tennis elbow release surgery so what we essentially do this procedure is we'll release the tendon which is bad so the tendinosis element is cleared off so that procedure is called as a ecrb debridement earlier we used to do this surgery with the open approach so we'll just just make a small incision here just remove the bad tendon and just uh, come out debriding the uh, lateral epicondyle but now we have a luxury of having this done with an arthroscope or a keyhole surgery so now we can do this whole surgery of ecrb debridement and tennis elbow with an keyhole procedure which is called as an arthroscopic tennis elbow release surgery so as you see that there are now many many improvements many scientific advancements and now the patients of tennis elbow have not to be in pain for long so now we come to the previous topic so now if you are having a chronic kind of a tennis elbow and it is not improving you can start some sort of a stretching exercises of the wrist joint so what basically you want to do is we you want to stretch the fingers like this uh, palm up flexion and then dorsiflexion like this okay 10 sets and 10 sets and then you can do a little bit of radial and ulnar deviations this is the initial exercise and then you can just take a homemade glass and repeat the same exercise so you can palm up flex and dorsiflex your wrist joint like this and then you can do activities like this and this will actually kind of stretch this tendon so because when you do this activity this tendon will stretch and when you do this activity also this tendon will stretch so this is kind of a mckenzie principle so you you stretch the muscles which are degenerated or which are bad so this is one of the stretching exercise then what you can do is you can take a pillow or you can take a towel like this and do a little bit of squeezing exercises so this will also put some stretches on the insertion of the extensor tendon so in chronic cases these kind of stretches may give you some relief now what you can do is some physiotherapists can give a very good treatments like a frictional massage so you in the frictional massage you give a friction in the opposite direction of the fiber so this is the fiber they can give massage in this direction you can give a trigger point massage as well and then myofascial release will also work sometimes so we'll definitely recommend uh, you to go to your physiotherapist to take all this manual kind of therapy which can help you now there is one more exercise stand up is and then you can just keep your hand like this and give a little bit of stretch this will also help in some cases so you can put your weight like this here and put your weight like this and give a little pet massage here so that can also help in some cases and in some cases you can also be relieved uh, by some kind of exercise in which you fully flex the elbow and then flex and rotate the elbow like this so you can fully flex the elbow and rotate the elbow like this so these are the these are the exercises which will also give you some relief the other thing that you can do is you can just let your hand fall down like this this is called as a dropping exercise so this will also help in some of the cases so guys we have just explained you what uh, uh, tennis elbow is and how can it be managed at home if you have any questions you can write in the comment box and i'll i'll do request you all to please subscribe to our channel uh, to receiving same kind of videos thank you